Hi everyone, it's Kay. Welcome to a guide for cold conversion skill to warriors. This is a high budget build that scales a lot of damage as well as freezing shatter for safer mapping. It's also a lot easier to see what's happening without scale to mage spam. However, it's not super tanky and doesn't have fast clear speed because you need to resummon the skeletons. The support minions are also a bit squishy, so you need to keep an eye on the anime guardian. must enjoy our contests, for it continues to play. You and I should do this again soon. Here is the passive tree at level 95. There are three key features. Two extra passive points from killing all bodies in Act 2. Charisma Anointment and Three Masteries There is one set of Cluster Jaws The last jaw has Renewal, Feasting Fiends and Vicious Bite The medium jaws have feasting fiends, renewal, and blessed rebirth. In a small socket, I have fortress covenant and a quickening covenant.
The Fosio sockets have ghastly eye jewels with minion damage and attack speed. I also recommend one jewel with minion taunt. The ascendancies are Radiant Crusade, Unwavering Crusade, Bastion of Hope, and Time of Need. And the Pantheons are Brian King for Freeze Immunity, and Averas for Burning Ground Immunity. Here's an overview of the gear, including gems, links, and examples. The helmet has plus 2 to all minion gems and reservation efficiency. The enchant should be skeleton damage. And it should also have plus 1 skeleton number, if possible. The gems are Anomalous Face Spectre, Anomalous Stone Golem, Divergent Anime Guardian, and an anomalous feeding frenzy. For the spectres, I'm using two carnage chieftains, one Krabby and one pear seraphim. If feeding frenzy is too repeat for the support minions, swap to meat shield instead. The body armor is a plus two flesh crafter. It can be plus 2 duration or a plus 2 minion. The gems are Valsamon Skeletons, Awakened Minion Damage, Divergent Predator, Anomalous Elemental Proliferation, Divergent Melee Splash, and Awakened Elemental Damage. When fighting pinnacle bosses, swap Proliferation and Splash to Elemental Focus and multi-strike. The gloves are triad creep with one red and three green sockets. The gems are hatred, haste, precision, and awakened generosity. The 75% code conversion is better than 100% conversion because of generosity. The boots have brutal ground for plus 2% crit chance. The gems are Divergent Tempest Shield, Convocation, Assassin's Mark, and Enlighten. The wand has minions are aggressive, plus 1 to all spells, plus 1 to minions, and the trigger. The special mod minions are aggressive, gives your Skeleton Warrior's dash skill, which helps a lot for mapping. And the gems are Desecrate, Spirit Offering, and Life Tap. The shield has plus 1 to minions, increased critical chance for minions, and life recovery on block. You can make the build tankier with Aegis Aurora, and swap Haste Aura to Determination. The gems are Flame Dash, Steel Skin, and Portal. You can change Portal to something else, like Faster Casting. The amulet is Ashes of the Stars. Reservation Efficiency is the most important mod. And the Anointment is Charisma for Reservation Efficiency. I'm using my rings to get as much resistance as possible, as well as sticks for my green gems. The build is darkness enthroned with my two best ghastly eye jewels. For the flasks, I like to use life with bleed immunity, basalt with extra armor, quicksilver, bottled faith, 
and Rumin's concoction. As always, I'd like to give a big thank you to my patrons. And there are more patrons in the other tier. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And please check the pin comments for any updates. Thanks for watching. Bye.